So um, tonight our topic is ovulation and menstruation. Ovulation and menstruation ons fall sommer weg daarmee. Wanneer een baba en meisje kind geboren wordt, dan heeft ze al reeds die dag wanneer ze geboren wordt stop hier die proces. En hier die proces is waar al die eiers wat zij ooit nodig zal hebben en bij meer is dit is al reeds gevormd. These follicles, they are those cells that are formed from the stem cells, which we know is known as the germinal epithelium cells. And um, about only 450 of them will ever be used, maybe more and maybe less. So, what happens with all of these eggs? They are stored in the ovaries. And you know, we have two ovaries, and they will, um, you will find them in a sac, and that sac is called the follicles. And um, there they will stay until puberty and special hormones. They cause these eggs to mature. Yeah. Remember, Colin, last week we said that men will produce sperm cells yes. for, un, well, for as long as they live from puberty for the rest of their lives. So millions and millions and millions of sperm cells are produced. That's unlike the ova. Only a certain number of ova are produced. And uh, as Colin has said, a girl is born with about almost half a million yes. of this over of which about 10 percent no not that not even that much about 450 yes yeah uh, um in other words one thousandths almost mm. will mature so and it also depends the number the exact number will obviously depend on the period between uh, um, puberty and the menopause so just remember that after puberty all the action starts as far as the development of the ova is yeah. concerned. In Susan's verleden wie ek beloof het, here we have oogenesis, oogenese, and um, this is the process, we'll take you through this step by step, but here we have a phase, and this is the phase where I said that this is by mitosis, where the germinal epithelium, which is a stem cell, a stem cell, die gedierig dier meer dier mitose, En wanneer die baba meisie kan geboren word, stop hier die proces. This whole process, it stops the day the baby girl is born. Then it is stored, as we said, in the ovaries until she reaches puberty. And puberty then stimulates these, these cells, these follicles, to undergo meiosis. Remember, only the first meiotic division. And these are the things, if you look at this, this is what you know that you see in the ovarian cycle. This is what they look like in the ovary. These are the cells as they undergo meiosis 1. Then the secondary oocyte, which you can see is actually that con it's, it's the um, ripened or the mature ovum, then only when fertilization takes place, then after fertilization, meiosis II will be completed. Otherwise, no fertilization takes place. These polar bodies, they just disintegrate. And remember, disintegrate means they break up and disappear. So, Lorraine. Yeah, um, can, I, can we just get the previous slide? Um, tonight, we have a surprise for you, for everybody. We have enough time to do most of the things in Afrikaans as well as in English. So, I can call in Gansubikyu Royal. Don't worry, what we have said in English is what I'm going to say in Afrikaans now. In wanneer ons Afrikaans praat, mense, het jy niks gemis, of kom ek sê, wanneer ons Engels praat, het jy niks gemis, nie, ons gaan die meeste van die dinge herhaal, omdat ons tyd het. Iemand het ook nou net gesê, dat hierdie diagram van oor organese nie baie duidelik is nie. Ons begin net hier, om vir jou die volledige prentjie te wees. Ons gaan het nou nou opbreek in stikke, en ons gaan vir jou opsomming aan die einde wees, wat baie duidelik gaan wees, en wat jy moet leer, en wat vir jou dinge precies duidelik sal maak. So bear with us, don't go away, and you will understand everything at the end. And all the questions that we've had, um, we've had quite a lot already, which shows us that you are thinking about these things, and yeah, that you've already started to study. Well done, keep the questions rolling. We will answer them as we go along, I promise you. So don't worry about that. Let's go to the slide. Goed, as ons nou kyk na hier die skyfie, dan, daar ons het nou gesê, ons sal het nou nou vir julle duideliker maak. Soos Karin gesê het, 
al hierdie, hierdie gedeelte vind voor geboorte plaas. En het is belangrijk dat daar eerst mitose is. Een paar cellen gaan mitose ondergaan om baie cellen te word. Met ander woorde, um, omtrent tyd na mitose kry ons mos nou dubbel die aantal cellen. So, so die helfte van die aantal eiersalle wat daar is, kry jy hierdie oorspronkelijke kiemcelle, wat mitose ondergaan, wat sal groei, en dan sal bly staan. Hulle soort van in een uh, um, stol toestand kan een mens amper sê, as jou rekenaar hang, nee, hy wil nergens en gaan nie. Selfde gebeur hier. Dan bly dit, dit is nog steeds diploid, dit is nog steeds 2 en. En dan wanneer die dochterkie pubertuit ingaan, gebeur dit verder. Een keer een maand gaan een van hierdie um, ei, of een van hierdie cellen verder ontwikkel om een eiersel te word. Met ander woorde, wanneer puberteit begin, begin van die maand, vind die eerste myotiese deling plaas, daar met ander woorde en daar die stadium, en daarna die tweede myotiese deling. Nou, in die ovary, it will happen that a primordial follicle, a follicle is the little sac um, in which the egg cell develops. Colin has referred to it earlier. A follicle is die klein sakkie waar in die eier sal ontwikkel. Dan kry ons dat daar ontwikkeling van een follicle sal plaas vind. My oose 1, my oose 2. En dan wanneer hier die eier sal gereed is, vrygestel word, die oomlik wanneer die spermcel indring, bevruchting plaasvind, dan word my oose 2 vol toe. Kom ons gaan aan. Goed, Colin. Yes, Lauren, I think you have touched on a very important aspect as well, and that is the ploidy of the cells. And um, one of the learners there asks, when is it that the chromosome number is reduced or halved? And um, if we look at that before birth, it's only mitosis that takes place, which means that all these cells, as you see them here, they are deployed. Yes, if we can, re- sorry, return yeah. to the previous one, you can just quickly show them again yeah. where it starts. So it to, starts here, deployed, deployed, and all here this cell are blade deployed. Here we begin us with the deployed cell. You see, it starts off with the deplo- deployed cell, and here, where my, this is still, it is still in prophase one, which means that no, um, ho- the half or the reduction of the chromosome number is not completed. But here, as soon as this starts here, here is where the 23 or the haploid number begins and starts. Right. So, here we have all the diploid um, cells. And as you can see, only mitosis before birth. This is what happens. And it eventually it develops and into a primary oocyte. So, um, ek dink dit is seker makkelijk genoeg vir hulle hierdie gedeelte, want ons het het tamelijk baie herhaal. Ek dink so, ja. ja. 